In this video, I will show you how to build this customer service AI chatbot on your website without any technical knowledge. And no, this is not one of your average AI chatbots that will instantly give you an error or tell that it doesn't understand on a specific question. But what this is instead is this kind of a new wave of these AI chatbots that will actually understand things. So the way you teach this chatbot is by giving it your entire website or business documents if you want to and the AI will read through everything so for example on my website I have over 150 pages and the AI will memorize everything and it will be able to deliver every single piece of information that you have ever shared on your website in just seconds so this is pretty incredible and we've got a lot to cover in this video so let's dive right into it now let me show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to implement this kind of a custom ai chatbot for your website and just so you know what i'm about to do here is that i have this website this is my small business and i have about 150 blog posts and pages related to the topic of my website where i basically teach people how to start blogs and websites and how to grow them and um Despite I have all the information here on the website very well laid down and very clearly represented, people are still going to ask me those repetitive questions. So instead of always me having to go through these pages and blog posts and having to manually link to my customers and type these long answers to their questions, I want to teach my AI chatbot everything that lives here on my website and I want it to be able to automatically answer those support questions by citing these resources on my site and by sharing information the way I would share it on my website based on the information on my website. So if this sounds magical, I think it still is. I think it still blows my mind every single time. But after watching this tutorial, you will have a website where you have this kind of a small chat box that will understand and remember everything that you have said on your website or every piece of information that exists on your website. So that's what we're about to do. So first and foremost, let's head over to botpress.com and you can activate your free trial by clicking the link in the description or at the top comment of this video. And once you have signed in, you will see this dashboard. And by the way, it is going to be empty for you, but because I have used this in the past, here is one of my projects, but nonetheless, it's all the same. So all you need to do is click on create bot, then give it a name, for example, AI blogging assistant, then click on create. And after about 20 seconds, you will see this message that the chatbot has been created and then click on open in studio and then choose a template. And in this guide, I'm going to use this start from scratch option and then just click on use template. And here is your chatbot. And now the first thing you need to do to configure your AI chatbot properly is to give it these instructions. So you are an autonomous agent. This is exactly what I want. You can search the web and look for answers in the knowledge base. Well, this is actually good, but what I want to do is I want to remove the search from the web option because I think that the results in the search results are actually not that great. And they are mostly AI generated and mostly overly hyped stuff in my industry so i'm not going to use that as a resource because i don't think that those answers will give any value to my customers so i'm going to just say that you are an autonomous agent and you can look for answers in the knowledge base and this is good but now this knowledge base might sound a bit confusing so what on earth is that well here below that you see this knowledge bases section and this is the place where you can teach your ai chatbot all the information it needs to understand for it to properly work and function as an autonomous AI support agent. And in this section, I will teach the AI chatbot to read my website. So I'm going to click on website. Then I'm going to take the URL of this website that is bloggersgoto.com and then I will click on discover pages. And this basically now takes the AI to this website and it will go through all these blog posts, course pages, book a call about contact pages and all that stuff. And after about two minutes, 
it has gone through all these pages on my website and you can actually see those here and once you're satisfied with what you see here you can click on add pages and right now the ai starts to process these pages so this will probably take a good two three even five minutes if you have about 100 pages obviously if you have more you will or this will spend more time on it for my case it will probably take like five minutes or so and at this time it is going to learn every single page here so at the previous step it just went through the website and it actually just figured out what are the pages on this side but right now it is going to read through all these pages so i have this long blog post so the ai will read through all of this and it will memorize all of the text that it's going to see here and then it can serve information to my people or to my customers based on the information that i have shared on this website so let's wait for the ai to do that and while we're waiting for the ai to find these pages and learn the information we can actually tweak the capabilities so as i said before i want this to be an autonomous agent i don't know what that word is so hard for me to say but I want it to be an autonomous agent that looks for answers in the knowledge base only. So I don't want to have this web search capability here because I don't want the AI to do those web searches. So I can click on this edit main flow and then I will see this start. So this is basically when somebody opens up your chatbot on your website, it will trigger this autonomous node. And as you can see here, we have web search and query knowledge bases. Well, this last one is what we want to keep, but this web search is something I am not too happy about. So I can actually just remove this. And to do that, I can right click and click on delete card. And that is now my new autonomous node, which has only these queries to knowledge base is enabled. So this basically means that the AI is not able to search for the information on the internet. It's only going to use my website as its data source. And once the AI has found out everything on your website and once it has learned and memorized everything, you can actually type a message here on the right hand side to test if it actually works. So for example, let's try something like something like what's realistic to make as a blogger. So this is a common question related to the information that I share on my website. And now let's see if this AI assistant is actually able to find that information from my website. Now here is the answer that the AI chatbot gave me. So it is saying that you can earn about $36.80 per 1000 views, which is exactly what I say on my website. And once you're satisfied with what you see here in the bot testing section, you can click on publish. And this will make your bot go live. So after this step, you are ready to use your bot. And here it says bot published successfully, a new version was created. And now here you can copy paste a direct link to your bot. So this you can basically send this to anyone and as you do this, you can start chatting with your bot here on an independent standalone website. But obviously this is not something you want to do because you also want to be able to use this directly on your website. So in the next step, I will show you exactly how to do that. So let's go back to this view where I just published the AI chatbot and let's click on this bot press icon back to dashboard. So now if you head back to your main workspace view, you can click on this AI blogging assistant or whatever you called your AI chatbot and then click on this web chat option here on the left hand side. And this is where you can now customize your chatbot. So for example, let's call it, let's call it Arturis AI helper. Now let's tell that this is a chatbot that knows everything about blogging. And then if we save, you can actually see that the information is updated here. So this is just useful for your users. So you basically want to let the user know what this bot is for and what it does and what it doesn't in a sentence or two. And then you can also change the theme so you can change the radius of the chat box. You can choose a soft color variant. You can use a dark mode if you want to. Let's keep it light for this time. You can change the font and then once again click on save. And then once you have changed your general settings and theme, then you can share the bot on your website. And this is the only place where you need to basically move some code around. So once again, you don't need to have any technical knowledge to do this, but let me just briefly show you how this works on my website. And by the way, if this is a scary part for you, you can ask your technical team or somebody who is hosting your website to do this change for you. This is something that takes probably 30 seconds for them because this is a walk in a park for somebody who has technical knowledge. But nonetheless, you have these two scripts here. So you can just click copy. 
then you need to sign in to your own website's admin view. And then for example, here on my website, I am using the Elementor editor. So this is a WordPress website that I have built with Elementor. And now to add the chat box here, I can click on edit with Elementor. Then I can search for an HTML widget. I can click on that. I can copy paste the code here. And as you can see, it will render this chat box right here. And if I click on publish and I head back over to my website, and there you have your chat box. If you click on that, you can start asking anything and it will answer based on the information that you have provided to it on this website. And if you're not confident in moving code around and doing these kinds of changes on your website, that is perfectly fine. As you can see, it is somewhat of a technical implementation if you haven't done this before. But as you can see also, this took like 15, 20 seconds for me to do. So if your technical team wants to do that, or if your web host wants to do that, that's probably like 30 seconds of their time. So they will probably happily do that for you as well. So if you're not convinced enough, or if you're not confident enough to try the coding thing, just let your technical team know.